Early in the Book of Mormon, King Benjamin took the roles, responsibilities, and privileges that had anciently been reserved for the monarch and democratized them so that they applied and were available to each individual who entered into a covenant with God. These new developments made the blessings of covenants that were traditionally reserved for kings available to the people, too. The following are several of the elements that moved the Nephites towards a more democratic system. Equality in society. Benjamin made clear that he, the king, was no better than any other person in the society and declared that the only real king was God. Direct participation in the covenant. Traditionally, only the king entered into the covenant that declared him to be God's son. But King Benjamin extended participation in this covenantal status to all of his people. Universal elevation and divine adoption. The language of being raised from the dust was a metaphor for enthronement or kingly exaltation and resurrection. Benjamin announced that his people would also be elevated because of the covenant. Giving the new name. When a king was crowned, he would receive a new coronation name. King Benjamin made the unique decision that all of the people would receive a new name. Standing on the right hand. By including all the people in the covenant, King Benjamin opened the way for each one to be found at the right hand of God. Dissemination of blessings. King Benjamin emphasized to the people that they all, through their obedience, would also be blessed so that their enemies should have no power over them. Hearing the voice of the people. By allowing the people of his kingdom to participate in the covenant, he was allowing the voice of the people to be heard. For these things, King Benjamin was remembered by the Nephite record keepers as one of the best kings they ever had. And now you know why. <laughs>